an appeal in Parliament for a major upgrade of the West Anglia mainline. The Conservative MP for Saffron Walden, Sir Alan Hazelhurst, who called a debate this afternoon, has warned that Stansted Airport will struggle to cope with demand unless travel options to London are expanded. The Rail Minister insisted that improvements are going ahead, but we can get more on this now from Kate Bradbrook, who's live at Stansted for us this evening. Kate. Yes, Janine. Well, more than 22 million people used this airport last year. That's up 13% on the previous year. The biggest rise, domestic flights. Now, today in Westminster, MPs were debating the state of transport links to and from Stansted and also across the east. This is the fastest growing airport in the country. But according to one of our MPs, it just can't compete with the likes of Heathrow and Gatwick because it needs to be better connected, especially when it comes to the rail network. The bigger airlines expect a high standard of connectivity and quality rolling stock to go with it. And yet nothing, nothing has been done to improve the West Anglia rail line. Fast, efficient, comfortable surface transportation is essential. Sir Alan has long campaigned against expansion at Stansted, but he says better connectivity would buy time for the government's long-term airport strategy. In reply, the rail minister insisted improvements are already going ahead. Network Rail will deliver the construction of a third track between Tottenham Hale and Angel Road and power supply improvements on the line of the route together with the new station at Cambridge Science Park. These changes will benefit passengers travelling by rail to Stansted from both London and the rest of the Anglian region. The question now is whether those improvements will satisfy our MPs or indeed passengers. Now, it wasn't just the rail network that was debated today, also the state of our roads here in the east. And also the Cambridgeshire MP, Stuart Jackson, made the point that we shouldn't just be focusing on connectivity to and from London. Also, we should be looking at the Midlands and the north of England. And if those routes could be improved, then even more passengers could use this airport coming from further afield. Kate, thanks very much. Well, as Kate mentioned, more than 20 million passengers a year already use Stansted. Now, they obviously get to the airport somehow. So is the transport situation really that bad? I asked Sir Alan Hazelhurst tonight. Uh, well, yes, it is, because it's not just uh, the passengers uh, coming in and out of Stansted. It's the employees who've got to get there and back. Uh, it's the regular commuters on the line who pay a great deal of money to travel uh, every day of the week uh, from uh, stations along the line into London at high cost. Um, and what's happened uh, with the growing demand, uh, you, you, you can't separate fast trains from slow trains on a two-track system. Uh, so journey times as a whole have got longer. And the airport authorities are uh, fed up with the fact that the journey time, even from their airport to Liverpool Street, has got extended over the years. Uh, so nobody's very happy. And uh, you've just got more numbers of people trying to travel and having a very bad experience. Of course, you have campaigned against the expansion of Stansted in the past. Uh, do you not think by improving the travel network, actually, there's more of a reason for them to expand? Well, no, I'm a realist. I mean, the fact is the decision was made. The airport is there. It has a capacity greater than the current uh, throughput. Uh, so uh, it's no point in being dog in the manger about it. And there is large conglomerations of industry now, a high tech industry uh, in Cambridge, south of Cambridge, in my constituency, in Harlow, really all the way into London. And they expect that there should be a good service. And of course, that argument that you just put forward could be echoed across the entire country pretty much. Everyone wants good connectivity to, to, promote, to promote jobs. Now, of course, your party is in government. Um, there isn't a, a, a limitless pot of funding. How confident are you that this particular project that you're pushing for will get the money it needs? Well, I think there's a greater unity, certainly a unity of parties uh, and a unity g building up across East Anglia as a whole that on the, our region has had less attention than it should have, considering the prosperity that is being created there and therefore the return to government and the benefit to the country uh, that we actually now do need to have our transport links, road, rail and air, uh, all much better than they are now. Sir Alan Hazelhurst.
Next tonight.